Hi, my name is Dave Murray, and I've got another SolidWorks tech tip for you, brought to you by CAD Dimensions. I'm going to show you how to create the end of a spoon, but I'm going to use a command that uh, you might not think to use for something of this nature. What I've got here is a style spline that I started out with. Uh, I then created the perimeter sketch, and then finally there's an arc that you can see right here. I've got some coincident and pierced relationships to tie everything together. Usually you use the filled surface command to fill up holes in imported geometry. Uh, of course it's useful for other things as well, but um, considering the name of the command itself, you might not think to use it for a standalone uh, feature such as what I'm getting ready to create. So let's grab the perimeter sketch and then we'll pick the two constraint curves. We'll accept that. And that gives us our standalone surface. Now we could use, for instance, the thicken command. Give it a little thickness, maybe 20 thousandths of an inch. And we're on our way to creating the spoon. Thanks for watching this tech tip. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.